Hey y'all, welcome back, and this is if-else statements. So, uh, we talked about an if statement in the last lesson. An if-else statement is going to be an extension of an if statement, and I don't want to say they're interchangeable, but the situations are more of a Venn diagram than they are exclusive. This is when you use an if statement, this is when you use an, an if-else statement. Um, but an if-else statement in general is in a case where there are two options. So, if something this, otherwise that. And so we can see from case two previously, if Creed will be there, then I will go, otherwise I will stay home. And then in pseudocode, you can picture some way that this might be code. And if you look down here, you'll see, we're just doing console.log statements just to get the point across. Um, but let's, let's take this code over to a replet. And as you can see, there's a comment here that says change false, or change to false to see the else option. So this part of the if statement works exactly the same. Uh, you'll also sometimes see people format it like this. I don't like to format it like that, but you can. Um, also see every once in a while somebody will show up and they'll format it like this. And you can, but again, I'm not really a big fan of that. I'm a bigger fan of this. Um, I don't really know why. It's probably because I saw that first. But anyway, if we say if Creed is there, this expression, if it evaluates to true, is going to uh, make this code inside of the if statement run. And if it evaluates to false or a falsy value, then this console.log is going to run. So creed is there is equal to true, and that's how we're going to build this uh, set of console.log statements. So if we run it with it true, we'll see I will go. And that makes sense. If we change it to false, we're going to see I will stay home. So there you go. Not really a ton to it. Here's the general case. And as you can see, this one has formatted the markdown properly. Um, if you've been paying attention to these videos, sometimes the markdown doesn't format properly, so I always advise uh, taking it over to a replet to look at any code. Um, so if some expression which evaluates to true or false, and all we mean there is that the expression in here is going to be forced into either a truthy or a falsy value. Uh, if we set it up properly, it'll be true or false, but sometimes if we have like zero, undefined, uh, null, I think not a number might be falsy. There's a list of like six falsy things, or falsy statements, everything else is truthy. And so on line three, we describe some action to be taken in the event that the expression of value is to true. And again, we're just going over general syntax here. So we have an if, we wrap a condition for that if statement in a parentheses, um, then an opening curly brace, which sometimes you'll hear referred to as a block, uh, describes what's going to be uh, going on in the event that that is a true statement. And then the else portion describes what happens otherwise, or else, I guess that kind of works that way. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this walkthrough. Just giving a quick example of an if-else statement and then going over the general syntax. In the following parts, we'll do a little bit more robust interaction with if-else statements, and then we'll solve some coding challenges. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.